All right, so let's go back to our guy here, and I just want to um, go back over a few of the things we already covered, but also introduce you to one of the most powerful tools and one that you'll be using all the time, which is the free transform tool. Okay, so we've got our layer group face with our layers in it, and since I'm on the subject, I might as well I'll rename that to line right now. Okay, and let's see. Just to show off, I'll go back and change my color, my background color. Something like that. All right, cool. And let's see, I'll open up the face group. And I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. So I'm gonna go into my line layer. I'm just gonna get rid of this big V. So I just take the freehand lasso, select that and hit delete. Again, make sure you hit the right delete key. And then to deselect this, Command D, or just click outside of the selection and it's gone. Now this, I'm gonna take this and put this onto its own layer. So I select it, cut it, Command X, but just for demo purposes, I'll do it up here from Edit, Cut. And then Edit, Paste, and it will automatically paste into its own layer. Right there. And I'll name this words. And I'll get the brush tool. Uh, one other shortcut that might come in handy is D. And if I hit D, it's going to reset my foreground and background colors to the default black and white. So I hit D. And it gives me the default black and white colors. D. Hooray. I'll get rid of those. Okay. So make sure that I'm still on words, and I'll go in here with the brush. It's a little too big. And I'll just kind of finish this out here. Like that. All right. So let's see, what can I do now? Um, let's say I'll make another layer. I'll pull it underneath words, I'll call it word color. And I'll, maybe I'll pick this eyeball color using the eyedropper, pick that color, get the brush again, and just go in and fill that layer in. So I like coloring, <laughs> I'll admit it. I'm one of those people. But um, let me show you another way that you can do, you can color in an area, and that's called fill. So I'll grab the freehand lasso, and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna create a selection that will cover the area that I wanna have filled, just like that there. And I will go up here to the edit menu, edit, fill. Shortcut is shift F5, which I use most of the time but edit fill and I will say use and you've got a whole bunch of choices here I want to use the foreground color which is down here say okay and voila it fills me in and I'll use command D to deselect and then I oops I missed a little spot there so I'll just go back in with the brush and clean it up like that okay I'm gonna add another uh, layer body line and D to get black back and then I'll just draw through here but I guess I'll pull this underneath the green color there so it's behind the green so I don't have to worry about the line back there and then I will go ahead and make another layer I'll call it body color and I'll pick a color oops and I'll use that lasso trick 
and I'll just be kind of sloppy about it. Select that area and fill it. Edit fill, use foreground color. Okay. Command D to deselect. E for the eraser. Clean this up. And remember it only erases what's on that layer, which is the purple there. So now if I want to go and move this uh, element up, it's two things. There's the words and the word color. So if I hold down the shift key, it lets me select several layers at once. Grab the move tool, move them up. I could also, you know, create a new layer group and nest it within the face group. I could create one called words and just drag these two in there so I could have a group within a group. Very meta. All right, so then I, that makes it easier just to move that around as one element. And I could even separate it out. I just drag it out of that. Now it's its own, it's, it's no longer nested within there. So you can do all kinds of stuff with this. So face, now I can take this whole thing Maybe I'll change it to body or guy. There we go. And now I can move that whole group over here. I can move the words around. So I can really get what I'm after here. Now notice that this didn't extend over. So I would have to go in and just redraw that. So D, default color. Pick that line up. Erase, maybe. Brush. Erase. And then body color, eyedropper, pick the purple color, brush, and fill that back in. Okay, I was having too much fun with this guy, so I forgot to even talk about the free transform tool. Uh, so I lied. I'll cover the free transform tool in the next video.